Thanks for visiting Fox 17 Online. I'm meteorologist Craig Edwards. The latest on Tropical Storm Isaac. The storm still once again spinning across Louisiana as a tropical storm, even though it's this far inland. And it looks like it will continue to move very, very slowly off to the north and west. Movement has been around seven miles per hour. That means it once again will track across parts of Louisiana into Arkansas. By the time it gets to Arkansas, it looks like it's going to be a tropical depression, a big low pressure cell that will make its way off to the north and eventually start to curve around to the east as well. It'll pass through parts of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and then eventually back into Ohio. And as it's making this track to the north and eventually off to the east, it's going to continue to drop some really heavy rain out there along with those really gusty winds. Some areas will pick up as much as eight inches of rain from Arkansas back into Mississippi. Then further to the north, about eight inches looks like it will fall out of the storm from central sections of Illinois back into central and southern Indiana. The reason for that the storm should be falling apart right here and it'll lose a lot of the wind that's carrying some of that moisture so eventually it'll fall here around the Nashville area it looks like about two inches of rain from this system and this is our projection through Tuesday so it's not going to be heavy rain around Middle Tennessee but it will be heavy at times and then occasional showers will last all the way through the big holiday weekend there's the storm down to the south and once again chance of rain will continue especially for tomorrow moving into Middle Tennessee as the low is tracking off to the north and to the east 89 degrees at 4 o'clock this afternoon, 79 degrees by 10 o'clock tonight. Chance of rain today is at 30 percent, but it goes up to a 50 percent chance, even a 60 percent chance by tomorrow afternoon. We'll continue to track the storm and give you the latest information tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock on Fox 17. Make sure you tune in.